Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get the Magma Gat. This is a variant of the Blunder Gat. It has a lava elemental effect, and when you shoot it, it creates this little lava ball, and it actually attracts the zombies and will kill them. The quickest way to turn the Blunder Gat into a Magma Gat is to hit the box and get one out of the box. You can get a free one by using the Hell's Retriever and collecting skulls around the map. That is going to be a separate video. Once you get the Blunder Gat out of the box, you can head to the Warden's house. Now, you're going to have to turn on power and open a few doors to to get to this location but once you get here you can go to the living room area and there's going to be a fireplace and you can actually hold x or square and place the blender get in the fireplace once you do that you're going to see this blue force field show up around the doors and windows and when the zombies come in you kill them and then you go and walk over that ball of light that is the zombie essence and you actually pick it up and absorb it you need to kill around 15 to 20 zombies and collect these essence balls and what's going to happen is they're going to light up these skulls on top of the fireplace and once all three are lit you can deposit the essence in it's going to process the blender gat and then you can pick it up and you need to make a run all the way back to spawn if you leave this blender gat in this fireplace for too long after you've placed it or placed the essence the blender gat will disappear but you can easily get it back out of the mystery box and when you get it again you can just repeat this process so once you've got the essence on the blender gat you want to head to that first barrel right there and just hold the blender gat over it it's going to absorb that fire and power and allow you to keep going then you need to hit this barrel right here and keep running. If you don't do this fast enough, the Magma Gat will not stay powered up and it will just turn back into the regular Magma Gat and you gotta start over. Right here, you wanna run towards spawn, make a right through this door, hit that barrel right there. One thing you don't wanna do is switch weapons. If you do that, it's gonna turn it back into the regular Gat and you're gonna have to start over. You are able to knife zombies and shoot with this, but that's about it. If you do anything outside of that, it will reset. There's another barrel right here. You need to hold it over in the recreation yard and then head up the catwalk right here. Now you can do this on custom mutation mode, easy mode, any mode, it doesn't matter. Once you reach the bottom of this catwalk stairway, there's a barrel on the left that you can hit to keep it powered up. And then immediately turn left right here. There's gonna be another barrel on the right on the outside of the new industries building. Go ahead and hold it over that one. Now, there's a chance that you don't have to hit all these barrels if you're really fast, but hitting all of them will guarantee that you make it here. So once you're inside here, place it inside of this machine. You're gonna see this animation of these ghosts flipping this lever and turning it into the Magma Gat. Once you've done this whole process, anyone can get a Blunder Gat out of the box. All four players can have Blunder Gats out of the box and they can all now place them in that machine and immediately transform it into a Magma Gat. On Mob of the Dead, you can only have two Blunder Gats and they have changed that for Blood of the Dead where all four players now can have them. When you first get it out of the machine, you're gonna have 31 shots and you can see right here when you shoot it on the ground, it creates a little pull of lava. Now it will damage you, so be careful and it does attract the nearby zombies. You can pack a punch it for 5,000 and it's going to turn it into the Magmus operandi and now you're going to have 52 shots on it. But I hope this helped you guys out and we'll see you next video. Thank you for watching Glitching Queen's video. Oorah!